Okie dokie. So today we gotta pull the pontoons off from this machine as there is wear strip in the bottom of it. And they don't then drop. Don't they drop? They wore away. So it's time to replace them. It's only in the middle section, really in the inside. So we're gonna pull this off, take the chains off, turn it upside down, weld it up, and then reverse the process, put it all back on.
Right, so we got it off, got it on its side, and you can see what's going on here. So this is this is the wear strip, and um, it's about five mil thick. That's the bottom of the track, and these are the side guides. They absolutely fine. So these are the wear strip, and it's pretty good here. Good, 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 good. And from this point here, I can see it squashed it out, flattened it, flattened it out. And it's wearing, 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 and here actually separated. It got so thin, it started to run on the bottom, bottom wear. Um, so we just caught this just in time. Uh, you know, it's designed this way. You're supposed to do this, do this when they wore away and uh, replace them. So it's absolutely fine. We're gonna do that today. Uh, we're not doing the whole lot. We just, uh, we just did on this beauty. She's got a new wear strip all over it um, so she's ready number one been done uh, a couple years back um, and this one she's virgin actually it haven't been done since we bought it so that's the first time we get this one done um, we're gonna probably separate it here and back here by the weld it's been a long weld there so we got it here and we strip this middle section out uh, and put a new wear strip on it. The outer side, so that's the inside of the machine, so that's underneath the machine, that's the inside, that's the outside. And interestingly, some reason, uh, well, we know the reason really, the inside's the one they're wearing very quickly and the fastest. The reason for that, most of the time when we access a job, the road's got a camber and when the tracks are in these two tracks they're sitting on that camber so all the weight of the machine really running on these two inside runners on each track uh, that's why they wore this way uh, well it's absolutely fine so we just crack on with it I put it on a time lapse it's pretty simple we just cut the old one off clean it up weld a new one on and we gotta put it back on the machine
So here we are. As you can see, here, I just uh, got the wear the word out section out and stripped it off. Did clean up the wells they were they spot welded. As you can see, they just spot welded. Um, and now we just um, put a new strip on there and uh, put it all back together. It's pretty simple, really. Um, you know. We started about 8 o'clock pulling the tracks off the machine. Now it's 10 to 10. And here we are. The, these are the strips. Just gonna stick them on. That was the hard bit. Taking the old one off and grind it all up, clean it all up. That's the time consuming and not nice job grinding. Lots of grinding, really. And I hate grinding, it's just dirty. Gets in your nose and everything. Anyway. A bit done. We'll patch it all up and she's ready to go back together. strip is on now we just gotta reverse the whole lap what we done earlier and put it back together Went much better than the first side. So, just gotta put the pins back in for the rams right there. Tommy's going in. Aren't you, Tommy? No, I'm not. That's not my name. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it from the inside, so I'll give you a hint. Uh. 